Welcome to the Global Symposium for Regulators 2023, GSR 23, being held here in Sham el Sheikh in Egypt, where I'm very pleased to be joined by engineer Abdel Rahman Omran, who is innovator and consultant to the chairman of the board of directors for the electronics factory of the Arab Organization uh, for Industrialization for Artificial Intelligence Projects. So I managed to say that all in one breath. Uh, well, welcome to the studio. Uh, welcome to you. Perhaps you could talk a little bit about the session you were in uh, and the, the keynote speech you just gave. Perhaps you could summarize it for us. The session uh, talked about uh, digital accessibility, uh, how to build an inclusive society. I talked about my story with disability. My story with disability started when I was born. Uh, when I was born, I suffered from leak of oxygen, causing me to have a cerebral palsy. And doctors told my family I will not work again, but my family never gave up hope. Uh, so uh, I decided to help patient with a quadriplegia. This patient can't move their hands and legs, so they're unable to use a traditional electrical wheelchair. So I invent an electrical wheelchair, help this patient to move using a brain segments. So uh, is uh, digital accessibility a must or a nice to have in your opinion? In my opinion, it's must. Uh, we will, uh, we will uh, when talk about uh, deaf people or uh, visually impaired, the visually impaired people, he's totally implying. So he uh, can't walk, can't uh, eat without help, can't go to uh, school and interact with the environment. And when I talk about uh, deaf people, the people can't communicate with others. So uh, there is their need to uh, assess the technology to uh, communicate with uh, with us. Now, you mentioned that you had been involved in, a, in an invention. Yeah. Uh, how hard was it to get that uh, to to fruition, to market? The development of this chair was very difficult. Uh, I felt it so many times that I stopped counting, but in the end, I succeed. Uh, but in the market in Egypt, we have uh, more than one million people need this chair. We, uh, the Arab Organization for Industrialization, adopted this project and uh, helped me to develop it and marketing and so on. So you've mentioned some of the, the disabilities and some of the advantages of, of having a digitally inclusive society there. I just wanted to find out from you, what is the key to success for digital inclusivity? Uh, first of all, uh, collaborate with the government and other stakeholders and the private sectors also and the innovators and the people with disability himself. So the key is uh, collaboration. What do you think could make digital accessibility uh, a reality? What do you think uh, could help it speed up the process? Using AI technology, uh, I think it's a speed up the process. And in terms of your own experience here of, of this uh, symposium for regulators, uh, what have been your impressions of it? Uh, I'm very happy to uh, being a part of this uh, summit and uh, I hope uh, uh, we build an uh, inclusive society. Well, uh, Engineer Abdel Rahman Omran, thank you so much for joining us in the studio today. We hope uh, that uh, your, your success story continues from success to success thank you. and um, wish you the very best and hopefully catch up with you at some stage in the near future. Inshallah. Inshallah. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Excellent. And uh, for more information, please visit our website at www.itu.int. Thank you very much indeed. <laughs>